Hello friends and enemies, welcome back to Happy For Now. It's me, Isabel here, and I'm so excited to take you along and show you my process for how I prepare for book events. Um, I'm gonna share a version of my spreadsheet that you can edit, and this is basically it for on my camera stuff. The rest of it will be on my computer and my webcam. This is the sheet you will have access to when I post this video. Um, it'll be in the description box. Feel free to use it. What you're going to do when you want to use it is you're going to go here to file and then you're going to have to make a copy. Just so you know, you don't, you, you won't be able to edit this version because if you edit in here, it's not going to save because other people may edit it. So I'll put in the ticket cost. Let's say it was $200. Um, uh, we each bought our ticket, right? Let's say that. And then the hotel is um, 400 equals this divided by two equals this divided by two. Oh, nope, I did. Why did I do B32? B3. So that will give you your split cost. So if let's say I, my card, um, that way we know they're paying me for the hotel, whoever's in my room. You can easily edit this, um, just quick formulas. It's really not hard, promise. You can add a person, so you can just do this, insert to the left. Um, you can just, I mean, honestly, do this. And then you'll have another person if you're sharing with three people, four people, however you want to do it. Um, so that's my cost thing. You can opt to add the books you buy here. I don't. I usually look at this cost and I budget separately for what I'm buying. Okay, so this is the next slide. Slide. Sheet. I track if I can get the book on Hoopla, Libby, if I own it, the author name, the book name. If I read it and I check this, it'll it'll tell you what you got left. Um, it's kind of nice. And then it'll tell you how many you want signed. So if you just put yes, this should tick up to one. No, it, it's the wrong formula. Gee. Okay. So basically, I'll mark it if I've read it. Um, these boxes go however far I have them. If you need more, just select and then drag down. Very easy, promise. It's not too hard. So I'll then, like I said, if I want to get a sign and I put a yes here, this number that you can't see, hold on. This number will go up by one. Um, this just tracks however many boxes you have. So FYI, if you order it, you put yes. Um, and then you could sort, you know, by yes, no's. And then if they're not attending and you put yes, and then you want to hide yeses, they'll vanish. That way you know, like, when you're packing, what book you need to take. Okay, so let's set up my KissCon one. All right, so here's my author tracking. I just pasted all of the authors in. Um, I have this just color coordinating. So Alexa Daria is uh, take the lead. I've read that. I want to get her signature. Um, Alicia Rye, hate to want you. Alyssa Cole, on paper. And let's say there's multiple like of that author. You can just start listing them out. So I'm going to one, two, three. Okay. Um, I have read all of these. Um, I have this, uh, and I haven't ordered any others, so there we go. Uh, Miss Bev, what do I don't know what I want to get signed by her yet, but yes. Um, I also, I'll show you some other stuff I have that I get signed often at events. So yeah, I'm going to go through this. I'm going to fill it out. And then I will basically just delete any of these that I'd no longer want. So let's just say right there is the end. But then I can track how many authors I've read from the event and who I want to get stuff signed from, etc. I find this super, super helpful. Personally, uh, I usually set this up as soon as I know I'm going to an event. So the minute I have tickets in hand, this is set up. The only reason this one's not is because honestly, like KissCon has a ton of authors that I've already read from attending. So I didn't feel the need to do as much for it. So we're going to get back on my regular camera and I will talk to you some more about other things I bring to events to get signed because I'm an ebook reader and also I only have two bookshelves and that's it. I may eventually expand to three one day, but I'm trying to really limit myself. <laughs> 
Okay, I wanted to show you a couple things I usually bring with me to events to get signed. It's not like super original, but it might give you an idea. I have this four words tote. I've had Tessa Jair sign it. I've had Victoria Schwab sign it. Maisie Yates, um, Beverly Jenkins, I think. I don't know, I've had quite a few authors sign it. And I'm realizing, I know that's Maisie, I know that's Tessa. I can't tell who that is. But anyways, when I go to events, I have favorites sign this and I put some patches on it um, because I also have this whole backspace to get signed. So uh, like when I go to KissCon, I want Sarah McLean to sign this. Uh, she actually kind of inspired some of the words on mine. So I wanna have some other authors sign it there because they're some of my all time favorites. This is the tote I generally carry around at book events because it's nice and comfy. And then I always have my romance sparks joy button on here. And uh, I also have a button somewhere that is my avatar on Twitter. So people know who I am and I either wear that on my lanyard or on my bag. Okay, the other thing I have is I get these when BookBo is at an event. Unfortunately, they're not going to be at KissCon. I wish they would just sell these regular like without anything on it, but I get these signed. They're great. So they use a metallic marker or Sharpie and honestly like it's great i have two of these so far i got one at book bonanza and i got one at a polycon this is from a polycon last year um i almost filled it up it's a wonderful way to collect signatures for an event that isn't like super you know doesn't need a lot of space i um yeah i've loved doing these so much like so so much especially as an e-reader. Also, they're great because when I travel, I bring them and put on my book. Uh, a couple other ideas, my friend Melinda does these photo books on Shutterfly to get signatures and she'll put quotes in and covers of different books. I might be trying that for KissCon. I haven't fully decided because a lot of this is authors that like, I don't know if I'll ever get to meet them again. So I kind of want a book signed by them. We'll see. I'm gonna make some big decisions like in the next few weeks before I leave. So yeah, that's how I prep for bookish events. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any tips for me that maybe I'm forgetting on this. The biggest thing is to just go and have fun and talk to people because honestly, you're surrounded by readers. And if you're going to a romance one, you're surrounded by romance readers. And honestly, like I've had very few bad interactions. So you're probably on a good path. <laughs> and with good people to hang out with. The only other thing I'll say is, you know, if you want to go to book events, start looking around. There are tons, like there are way more than I was aware of. And I've already got a possible one I might go to in October in Kentucky. We'll see. Got some decisions to make there too. But I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. I will be back in a few days with another video. Bye.